Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the sun, and this is Leo energy. So this is a card of joy. This is a card of good news. This is, a, you know, seeing something clearly. Someone could be expressing something to you that makes you really happy. There is a feeling of contentment, satisfaction, and healing with this card. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the two of swords, air energy. You have the chariot cancer energy and the emperor aries energy so there could be someone who you were under the impression was unsure about you you could have been viewing this person as indecisive or uh closed off or having a, a wall or a guard up to you and it looks like this person will be giving you clarity this is someone who's kind of like giving you the green lights making it known to you that they want to move forward with you um they could be going out of their way for you with the chariot you know this is a feeling of being determined to make something work, putting effort in, putting energy and time in, and wanting that stability with you. Um, with the Emperor, we're seeing someone here who's actually quite loyal to you and this connection. Um, it does look like they, they perhaps haven't yet vocalized how much they are committed here because we do have that sort of swords, like almost like you are unsure about where you stand with this person, and they will be making it very clear to you that they are all in with you. So let's clarify these cards, uh, Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So a card again, recognition, making something clear. Um, this can even be making something official, uh, putting it out there that they are committed, that this is a solid union to them, and giving you appreciation, giving you your flowers. Okay, so let's see. We have the Five of Wands, Fire Energy, the Ace of Cups, Water Energy, and the Ten of Cups, Water Energy. So it does look like even this person are going into a new chapter in this connection and a love offer is being made and love messages are being exchanged and there is an energy of a long-lasting, fulfill, emotionally fulfilling relationship being achieved here. Um, this does come after some sort of conflict. You know, it does look like whatever this conflict was, it left you feeling unsure or feeling like your person was unsure about you or you didn't know where you guys stood um, and it does look like there's a positive outcome for this connection and this person will be opening up to you about their feelings okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you gemini Okay, so we have show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Yeah, this person is going to be very transparent with you. They're going to be opening up to you. Okay, so let's see. we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so they do believe that you are the one okay 
day we have beauty and happiness. The thing of beauty is a joy forever. So this person really admires you, they love you, and they do want forever with you. They do see themselves having that with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Gemini. Okay, we have surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.